version 1.24 is an untested update and I've just introduced the ability to stack tables that are using the seat script. So what we'll do is we'll decide where our stack is to go. So we hold down control and press F1 and that tells us this is where we want our stack to go. Control plus F2 tells us where we want the tables to move to once they come out of the stack. There are other options. Instead of using a stack, we can keep uh, we can actually move the tables off screen and instead of them coming back into um, slot two here, we can either have them remain in the same stack or we can have them go back to their original positions. And those options are all here. This means when you add them to a wait list, it either remains where it is, it moves into slot one or it goes off screen. When a seat becomes available, it either goes back to its original position, stays in slot one or moves to slot one if it wasn't already there or moves to slot two. So what we'll do is I will just move these tables out of the way. <coughs> if you want, um, when we select, we can use control F3 to show where these, where those slots are and control F1 or control F2 means we can use different slots as well. So if we wanted to, we could put the slots, the slots down there. So we'll, we'll keep those slots and I'll move these tables out of the way. Now, there's also this thumbnail view here. So when we put a, a table on the wait list and we can do it by clicking these numbers, it will move into the stack. We'll move number five into the stack, number four into the stack. Now, if you can use hidden table mode, then these images here will appear like they, like, like they are here. If you can't use hidden table mode, then what you'll see is some different kind of image, like the background, the boot up screen of Momo, or it might just be a black screen. But this is an indication of if you can use the hidden table mode or not. So we we'll move these all in to the stack and they're all there now. If we wanted to, we don't need to use a stack on the screen. We could move them all off screen. So they're all off screen now. They're still, they're still there and they're still in the stack, but they're in a stack off screen. And when they come back on, they're going to go back into slot two, this slot here. But I'm going to move them back on now into slot one. So now they're all back there again. If we wanted to, we could make, we could choose original here. And what this means is once they become available, they will go back here to their original positions along the top here. Or we keep this one selected. So the wait list is for slot one. And then when the seat is open, it's also in slot one. So that means it will all remain there. And that is about it. It's untested. It has crashed once or twice while I've been using it. But mainly that's when I was messing around and moving tables off screen, back on screen, off screen, on screen. Um, it may be good to avoid using the off screen option at the moment, although it will still be handy to see if we have problems there. So if you want to give it a try, um, you can. It shouldn't be uh, any, it shouldn't give you too many issues. If it does, then just don't use this option. And you can just keep these checked here. If we keep these checked here, that will just be the normal method as it was before where they won't move out of a stack. Okay.